Hi and welcome. In this video I will discuss if you need a doctorate degree or a master's degree in order to be a data scientist. There is no definitive answer for that and you will decide by yourself in the end. I will make this video as systematic as possible, listing different possibilities, different combinations of different degrees that you could have and how it could affect your career as a data scientist. My name is Felipe, this is the Data Science Bits channel. Please subscribe and click on the bell button to receive notifications with every video and follow me on LinkedIn. Just to make it clear from the beginning, I myself have bachelor's, master's and doctorate degrees all in physics and all degrees I got from Brazilian universities, but I don't think that everyone should necessarily follow this path because it's a long path. So let's discuss, let's understand what it means to have these different degrees and how it can affect your career. This video makes a strong assumption that you already have a STEM degree. And STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. I'm not saying that if you are not from a STEM field, you cannot be a data scientist. What I'm saying is that in this video, we are making this assumption. For people that have degrees outside of STEM, this is another subject, this is a completely different subject, okay? So I will leave this for future discussions. If you already have a STEM degree, chances are that you already passed linear algebra, calculus and also statistics courses. I will split this video in different scenarios, different combinations of degrees that you could have. The first scenario is if you go through a doctorate degree in a STEM field with a quantitative focus. And in this type of uh, doctorate, you will go through different basic courses. And the other component of this type of degree is doing research. There is where you will learn about the scientific mindset, uh, writing code to achieve different goals that you have in your research. And this can vary a lot, can vary a lot from research group to research group. And if you are analyzing data, for example, like I did in my doctorate, for sure you will have to go very deep into sp uh, specific statistical concepts. You will get your hands dirty, coding a lot to achieve your goals. You can even have codes on GitHub. I have seen this many times. People even make Python packages for their own research and to help out other research groups that maybe will use that type of code. So, in general, I think it's very positive to go through a doctorate degree, but you need to keep in mind that it's a very long path. In Brazil, it's from four to five years, for example, in my experience. In the United States, it can go up to six or seven years, depending on the research that you are doing. I want you to think about the pros that I already laid out, and also the cons that are basically time related. The second scenario is if you are going through a doctorate degree that's specific about machine learning. So your research project is in machine learning. This can be done in many different programs. We could do this even in physics, mathematics, computer science, statistics departments. It doesn't really matter. What I'm saying is that your doctorate is focused on machine learning on artificial intelligence or analytics, different topics that are closely related to data science. For sure, you learn many positive things that will uh, help you achieve the goal of being a data scientist. On my view, this specific case is really good if you want to continue doing research after your doctorate. So you want to be a postdoctoral researcher or maybe a researcher or a professor so these are different things, okay? Or maybe here in the United States, and I think also in Europe, you have the chance of being hired as a researcher inside a technology company, such as Facebook, Twitter, Google, Amazon. You can really do research and write research papers, write proposals, uh, participate in conferences often. This path will really help you achieve this goal. Because I did a doctorate in physics uh, that was not closely related to artificial intelligence, 
For me, it would be difficult to become a researcher in a company like that. Believe me, I have applied for many of these positions and I have got no response so far. So if you want to go through this specific path, I really will tell you to go through a doctorate on machine learning topics or even if it's a field like engineering or physics, at least topics that use heavily machine learning tools. On these first two scenarios, I was thinking that maybe you have the doctorate and you could also have a master's degree. This does not affect a lot that analysis. So in Brazil, we will do the master's and the doctorate separately. But now let's analyze the third scenario that's only having the masters, okay? So now we enter a very interesting situation where I'm, I'm assuming that you spent already two years in your masters and more three years in the industry. So in total five years of data science related experience after your bachelor's. A colleague of mine in the past has raised this question. Is five years of experience uh, outside a doctorate, not considering a doctorate, worse or better than a doctorate? This is a very difficult situation. This is a very tough question. I think this is the perfect balance. You already went through courses, you already focused, you already have a portfolio through your master's degree. And there are many focused master degrees like MBAs and uh, management masters, very focused on analytics and very focused on the market. If you do two years or maybe one year and a half of this and have already three years of experience in the market, I think this is the perfect balance. My vote would be to this combination. And the fourth scenario is if you did a bachelor's in a STEM field, as I said, you already have a STEM degree and by now you have already five years of experience in the industry. Also, this is some kind of a paradox in the industry. Is this better or worse than having a doctorate? It's also a tough question. I think that if the person had a very strong STEM degree, okay, in a very hardcore STEM area. And this is, of course, is hard to define, but I would say maybe person is a mathematician, already a statistician. In Brazil, we have statistic degrees, okay, for bachelors. If you already have this and you went through five years of industry experience, and in this five years, you were in a company or different companies that really demanded of you and you had to study a lot, you had to read papers and things alike. I think this case is also equivalent maybe to all the other options and it's difficult to decide. I prefer the third option where the person has a master degree because I think it's the best balance between academic background and industry experience, but this is also an option. To conclude the video, I will finish saying that there is no conclusion. And these different scenarios that I proposed, I think they are more or less equivalent to each other. Uh, my vote is always to the one that's in the middle, that's the master degree plus three years in, of experience. If you are in this situation, you are already in a very good position in the market and there is really no necessity uh, to or obligation to do a doctorate degree. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and click on the bell button to receive notifications with every video that I post and please follow me on LinkedIn. See you in the next video.